Hey, with their legal warriors, this is a very important video, much more important uh, than it would have been prior to July 23rd, 2023. The term prior offense under Washington state law as it relates to driving under the influence, DUI, or physical control is now a huge deal. So I'm putting out this video to let people know what prior offense means and why it's so important now. So if you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Fryer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm has been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years, and I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. Prior offense, what does that mean as, a, as it relates to DUI? So a prior offense is uh, a term that is defined under Washington State law under 4661-5055 subsection 14. And that uh, definition says, hey, if you're originally charged with DUI or physical control, throw in vehicular assault and vehicular homicide too, but that's way out there. You're charged with DUI or physical control and you either are found guilty of it, it counts as a prior offense should you get another DUI charge. That makes sense. If you do a deferred prosecution, even if it's successfully dismissed through deferred prosecution, it'll still count as a prior offense if you get another DUI. And if it gets reduced to three different types of criminal charges, it will count as a prior offense if you ever get another DUI. Those three reductions that count as prior offenses are one is reckless driving, two is negligent driving first degree, and three is reckless endangerment. So, um, why do we care about what a prior offense means? Well, before we cared about a prior offense because uh, if we got a first DUI reduced, if we got another DUI, the reduction would still count as a prior offense to enhance penalties on the new DUI. So there's always a seven year look back and actually look forward period, believe it or not, but I can cover that later, um, to say, hey, if you got a prior DUI conviction, deferred prosecution, or reduction within seven years, you get worse penalties if you get a second DUI within seven years. And that makes sense. Um, however, what doesn't make sense, in my opinion, is the legislature passed a new law effective July 23rd, 2023, that says that we lose our firearm rights, even if there's no firearms or guns involved in the DUI case at all, if we have two or more prior offenses for DUI within seven years of each other. Seven years, two DUIs, even if they're not DUI convictions, even if they're not uh, involving guns or firearms, if they are a prior offense for when we get convicted of the DUI or DR reduction on the second offense or do deferred prosecution on the second offense, we lose our firearm rights. And they're gone for good unless we petition to have them restored later and they change it all the way that happens too. And there's going to be another video I do on that. So it just got a little bit crazy in Washington state. So you really have to pay attention to what a prior offense is now. If you already have that first DUI and you have a second DUI show up, even if you get it reduced, there will be a prior offense, two prior offenses within seven years of each other, goodbye firearm rights. So what do you do? Well, the only thing you can do is beat the DUI outright with a dismissal, not on deferred prosecution, get the DUI reduced to a traffic infraction, negligent driving second degree, traffic infraction is not a prior offense, or negotiate with the prosecutor to reduce your charge, but do it in a technical way that doesn't count as a prior offense, okay? How would that be done? Well, the prosecutor would need to dismiss the original complaint the case number that had DUI, and then refile it as the reduced charge. So don't reduce the DUI to reckless, dismiss the DUI and refile a new charge that only alleges reckless or only alleges neg one or only alleges reckless endangerment because that would no longer be a prior offense because this cause number never started as a DUI. The DUI was gone altogether. The new cause, remember the new complaint only started as the reduced charge that would not trigger, in my opinion, under the current case law, under my understanding of the law that still is about a week until it goes into effect at the time I'm filming this, that wouldn't trigger prior offense uh, uh, jeopardy, which would then take away your firearm rights. So 
Um, also realize that prior offenses count for out-of-state matters. If you had something in Oregon or Alaska or anywhere in the United States, um, make sure you tell your defense attorney, you know, privately about any uh, other DUI situations because they may count as prior offenses under Washington law, right? Under our law, it depends on what the statute looks like, things like that. And we don't want to mess around when it comes to this constitutional right that the legislature said we lose. We get two prior offenses that started as DUI, physical control, et cetera, within seven years of each other, even if we were nowhere near a gun uh, when the alleged crime happened. So um, you can look it up yourself, 4661-5055, subsection 14. We'll link to it in the comments. Um, and there's, I didn't cover every single prior offense situation, but those are, you know, we'll cover 95% of everything. You can look at the rest of the statute, but I want you to be careful. I want you to know about these things because remember, these videos are education. And believe me, a, a good number of defense attorneys have no clue this exists. Um, and uh, we don't want you to find out the hard way that you've lost your firearm rights and you never knew about it. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need. More importantly, if you have a legal matter out there in Washington State, feel free to give my office a call. We do criminal defense. We also do restraining orders and a ton of DUIs. Um, you know, what we do is we'll listen to your call, we'll identify a way forward, and we'll do everything we can to be there for you. Thank you.